Hey people, it is Friday, April the 30th, and it is 3.33 in the afternoon. And I'm just here at the corner of Young Street and Carlton Street. And I'll be walking along Carlton Street, heading east. And I might walk the full length of Carlton Street, I'm not exactly sure. I do want to walk by some nice old row houses. The east side of downtown has lots of beautiful old historic row houses dating from the mid to late 19th century. So I thought I'd walk past some of those. It's currently, I think, around 4 or 5 degrees Celsius and very windy. Like, it's extremely windy. Wind gusts probably like approaching 50 kilometers an hour or more. I just walked through here during my live stream going in the opposite direction. But after that ended, I thought I'd just do a walk heading this way. Here we are at Church Street. So we have the Maple Leaf Gardens Loblaws.
Once we pass Jarvis Street, the street kind of takes on more of a low-rise character. And that's where you start to see some of the nice old row homes. Looking north of Jarvis. Walking by the Allen Gardens, which is a, a fair-sized park here on the east side of downtown that has a indoor botanical garden, which you can see there. Lots of plant life from all over the world. Nice to see the leaves are finally out on the trees. Everything is looking green. And I pointed this out in other videos, but any fans of Kim's Convenience will probably be pleased to know that this is the apartment building that the character Young and Kimchi lived in. But that was a very good show. It just ended its run after five seasons.
crossing Sherborne Street. Is that like sidewalks, cyclists galore here? In one of my recent videos walking down Young Street from midtown to downtown, there was a sidewalk cyclist that got told off. I thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> Some guy just let him have it. <laughs> he said what everyone else was thinking. <laughs> Which I think that was the uh, Young and Eglinton to Young and St. Clair walk. It was that video. All right, now I was talking about the old row houses. Here we have a very nice historic row. These date from the 19th century, I'm not sure exactly what year. And you can see some more down the street there. This part of town is just chock full of sections of row houses. That's technically a row, although it's not quite as pretty as the other one. Most of the housing in old Toronto is attached in one form or another, either as two units side by side or a row of several units. Here is a semi-detached two-unit building. A lot of people tend to mischaracterize Toronto as a city of single-family homes and high-rise apartment buildings, but that doesn't really apply in old Toronto. Single-family homes are quite rare. You have to get well outside the downtown core before detached single-family homes start to pre predominate. But certainly south of Bloor Street and between High Park and Leslieville, most of the homes are attached. We got some major wind gusts happening here. Yeah, it's starting to rain. It's been happening on and off for the last hour or so. Started when I was doing my live stream. Yeah, it's coming down pretty good now. <laughs> and I don't have an umbrella. <laughs> Let's see if it'll just blow over.
There's a bit of a storm kind of happening here with the wind. The wind and the rain. And the rain kind of suddenly died off. That's how it's been. It's kind of a crazy day. And here we are, Parliament Street. So I'll just walk south here along Parliament. Today is just a day full of unhinged nut bars. I had one come at me just at the end of my live stream. It's a cool little building here with kind of an underground little section of stores. The Tilted Dog. I think this building probably predates a lot of the other commercial buildings on either side of it. Here we are at Gerard Street. There's a number of old row houses along here that I've always admired. Beginning right here. I like how these ones are all different colors.
There's another nice row there. And instead of going straight down Gerard, let's just take a walk up and down a couple of these residential blocks. There's a beauty, a beauty. This one is gorgeous. Now we're back at Carlton, but I'm just going to dip down the next street heading south. Which is Ontario Street. I'm sorry for temporarily kind of retracing a little stretch here we've just went through but at least we're going on the opposite direction and the other side of the street oh no the same side of the street sorry but the opposite direction Alright, so now we're going back into uncharted territory. It's heading south on Ontario Street. Dr. O. Lane. This is quite the unusual row. I mean, the housing styles are all quite different, but yet they're still attached. That's fairly common in Toronto, actually, for different housing styles to still be attached in a row.
That's actually a detached home. And here we have a more typical semi-detached. And here you can see the difference in the in the brickwork between the two sides of this one. There's a literal line painted right down the middle. And look at this, these two are attached. Some people probably wonder, why are they even attached? That's just a Toronto thing. And these two are really cute. See downtown just off in the distance. There's a really interesting row across the street. Each one has got its own unique look to it, and one of them even has a barber shop. I said it's all right when I should have said, why are you on the sidewalk? See, I'm not like that guy who yelled at the side, that's a sidewalk cyclist. <laughs> This beer store's days are numbered. It's going to be replaced with the residential building. I don't know what all the regulars are going to do. Guess they'll have to find elsewhere to go. Pause in the six. And this empty lot will be replaced 
with the new residential building. This guy will have to find a new place to sell his wares. Looking down Sherborne Street again. And here's Allen Gardens from the other side, from the south side, looking north. That's an imposing old building. Another very nice building. It's a unit for rent. I wonder what that goes for. On this side of downtown, the rents tend to be a little cheaper. Simply because the side of downtown is still has a bit of a reputation. A bit of an undesirable reputation, even though I think it's perfectly fine. I've been living here for over 10 years. Well, when I say I've been living here, I literally mean here because this is my street. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed this little walk around the east side from Young and Carlton down to Parliament. Kind of looking at old row houses, just walking along a couple residential streets. And ending here on my very own street. So by all means, comment below or like or share or subscribe if you enjoyed this. And make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And if you'd like to support the channel, there's a link in the description where you can do so via PayPal. And if you're on Instagram, you can find me on there under K Continuum. So thanks for watching, and be sure to keep checking back because, as always, I will continue.